Aiden Roberson will be at the line. The three-pointer made the score 12 to eight. Bearcats with a four-point lead over Nettleton. The and one is good, and that makes the score 13 to eight. Brooklyn with their largest lead of the game. Five-point lead here with 327 remaining in the first quarter. Taylor Smith brings the ball down for the Raiders, gets it to DeVaris Whitaker, to Andre Davis, to Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson. Brandon Anderson, Jeremiah Turner. Jeremiah Turner kicks it back out to Brandon. Three-pointer from Anderson, no good. However, DeVaris Whitaker gets the offensive rebound and sticks it back in for the Raiders. Good rebound by DeVaris, who leads the team in rebounds, and he sticks it back in. Play is whistled dead, and I believe we got a little bit of moisture on the floor. Coach Matt Ragsdale is cleaning it up and we are glad to have coach Ragsdale at Nettleton great assistant coach and uh, does a good job of keeping the floor dry when when called upon whatever it takes for every child that's our motto here at Nettleton Brooklyn with the ball they kick it over to number five that's York they work it in to Woodall and the play is whistled dead it's going to be a foul charged against Andre Davis that's Andre's first personal Third team foul. It was on the ground. There will be no free throws awarded. Inbound play. Loose ball. Nettleton has it. Here comes Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith with the layup, and it's good. Taylor Smith, four points on the game, brings the Raiders within one. It's 13 to 12. Bearcats with a one-point lead. Brooklyn with the ball. This Brooklyn team, they got some fine athletes out there. A heck of a basketball team for sure. This is going to be a battle. Something tells me this is going to go down to the wire. Glad to have you joining us here on Thanksgiving week, Tuesday night. Three-point attempt by Parham is no good. The battle for the rebound, it goes to the Raiders. DeVaris Whitaker skies and gets it, and DeVaris is driving. Kicks it to Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson. He passes it to Andre Davis, and Andre Davis finishes. Four points for Davis and gives Nettleton a 14-13 lead. Nettleton on a 6-0 run. Two minutes on the clock here in the first quarter. Brooklyn with the ball. Three-point attempt is no good by the Bearcats. However, they get the rebound. The stick back is no good, but Roberson is fouled. Foul charged against number 10, Jeremiah Turner. Second personal, fourth team foul, and Roberson will be at the line shooting two. Roberson has four points in this game on a conventional four-point play, if there is such a thing. Nettleton 14, Brooklyn 13 is your score. First free throw is good. That ties things up at 14. 14 all with 150 to play. And I do believe we have the live stream going, so we welcome our internet audience. Apologize for being a little bit tardy getting that going. There's a whole lot of things that go on to bringing these games to you. And thankfully, we're able to get the live stream up and working. Roberson's second free throw is good, and that makes the score Brooklyn 15, Nettleton 14 here in the first quarter. Checking in to the game for Brooklyn is number 10, Allred. Brian Allred. Nettleton brings the ball down. Brandon Anderson gets it across the half-court line. He kicks it over to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith to DeVaris Whitaker. DeVaris drives, has the ball stolen away. Parham driving, going up for the layup, and he is fouled. Taylor Smith going to be whistled for the foul. It's going to be two shots. Correction, it's Curtis Smith into the game, and Curtis was whistled for the foul. Parham at the line. And he sinks his first free throw. That makes the score. Brooklyn 16, Nettleton 14. Second free throw on the way, and it is good. 17 to 14, your score. Brooklyn with a three-point lead over Nettleton in the first quarter with a minute and 26 and ticking on the clock. Taylor Smith to DeVaris Whitaker. DeVaris Whitaker, mid-range jumper, no good. Brooklyn gets the rebound. Here come the Bearcats, 118 on the clock as they get it across the timeline. Coach Bobby Gross shouting some instructions to his guys. Clock just over one minute. Brooklyn with a three-point lead, 17 to 14. One minute on the clock and ticking as Brooklyn working it around the perimeter, trying to get it inside. Parham now driving, kicks it out. 
And here come the Bearcats again. Number 24, Jackson drives a nifty move there by Ben Jackson. He puts the ball in the hole, and it's 19 to 14. Brooklyn with a five-point lead with 40 seconds on the clock. Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson to Curtis Smith, and Curtis has his pocket picked. Brooklyn with the steal, and now the Bearcats with the drive. Stolen back by the Raiders. Taylor Smith with the steal, and here comes Nettleton. Brendan Anderson drives, shoots, and he scores. However, I believe it's going to be an offensive foul. Yep, it's going to be charging called against Brendan Anderson. And it'll be Bearcat ball with 24 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Brooklyn with a five-point lead over the Raiders. Wild and woolly action. That's what Lance Russell would say if he were here tonight. Glad to have you along for the ride. Brooklyn inbounds the ball. They'll probably play for the last shot. 16 seconds on the clock. Nettleton bringing the defense to him. Taylor Smith working against Robertson. Seven seconds on the clock. They're going to have to drive to the right quickly. It's at four, three, two. They kick it outside. Dribble. I guess his own uh, gets, he misses the three-pointer, does uh, Roberson, and that's the end of the first quarter. 19-14 to 14 the score. Brooklyn with a five-point lead. 60-second break. More Raider basketball when we come back on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Guys, if you haven't made it into Orville's Men's Store, then you're missing out. They're the only store in town to exclusively carry brands like Barber, Duckhead, Strong Suit, Tommy Bahama, and Vineyard Vines. Orville's has everything a guy needs, from daily workwear to a big night out on the town. Orville's will have you looking more stylish and feeling more confident than ever before. So make your way to Orville's Men's Store at 2612 East Nettleton next to Steamroller Blues in Jonesboro and show off your stash. Shop online at Orville'sMS.com. It's football time at Wings to Go. That means all the TVs watching the games, all the wings will be hot and flavorful, all the food will be good. It is time to come to Wings to Go. We've weathered the storm. It's almost over. Things are getting better, and we can't wait to see you at Wings to Go. Sports, wings, football, life is great at Wings to Go, both locations. We welcome you back to Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. We're just about to start the second quarter. Your score is Brooklyn 19, Nettleton 14. Sure glad to have you joining, joining with us and hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving week. It's wonderful here at Nettleton because school's out. Got a whole week vacation. A nice break from the break with some Raider basketball. Nettleton, Curtez Smith picks the pocket of number four of the Bearcats. Curtez drives and has his shot blocked by number four, Cole Kirby. However, there is a foul on the play, and it goes against Brooklyn. I believe it was against number 45. Correction, maybe number 34. In any event, Curtis Smith will be at the line shooting two. As his Raiders are down by five. 24, Ben Jackson. I was way off. 24. That is the third team foul. First personal foul as Curtis misses the first free throw. Second free throw on the way. 7.47 on the clock, second quarter. He misses the second free throw. The battle for the rebound, uh, Jordan Pegram there battling for it, but a little bit out of Jordan's reach, and Brooklyn gets the ball. Some of the football players that you – some of the undefeated conference champ football players out on the floor, Curtis Smith, Jordan Pegram. You'll see Braylon King in the mix here directly for sure. Brooklyn up 19-14, to 14, and they kick it over – to Roberson, a three-point attempt is no good by the Bearcats. However, the stick back is good. That is number five with the stick back, David York. And here come the Raiders, Brandon Anderson with the ball. Anderson from three, no good. Rebound goes to the Bearcats. This Bobby Gross coach team, they block out, they do the fundamentals well. They're doing a good job controlling the defensive boards. Roberson working on the talented sophomore, Taylor Smith. He kicks it over to Jackson. Jackson back to Roberson. To Jackson. Over to Allred. 
All red to York. Back to York. York drives, shoots, and scores. David York, tough drive, and he laid it right in. Makes the score 23 to 14. Nettleton with a nine-point deficit. Tavares Whitaker drives and puts the ball in the hole himself. Six points on the night for Whitaker. Cuts the Bearcat lead to seven. It's 23 to 16 with 6.15 on the clock here in the second quarter. Brooklyn with the ball. And that's Roberson who's driving, and the play is whistled dead, and a foul is charged against number 24, Jackson. That's his second personal fourth team foul. So Nettleton will take the ball in on the far sideline. Nettleton moving left to right on your radio dial, wearing their gold, Vegas gold home jerseys. Brooklyn wearing black with red lettering. Devaris Whitaker drives, shoots, and scores. How many times have we said that this year? Young man coming in, scoring over, averaging over 27 points a game. He's got eight right now. Brooklyn leads 23 to 18. 540 remaining in the second quarter. Brooklyn with the ball, working the ball on the right side of the court. Back to the near side. All red, swinging his arms left and right. Kicks it over to number five for the Bearcats. Taylor Smith just pretty near picked his pocket, and but the ball went out of bounds, so it's going to be Bearcat ball on the far sideline. That's Roberson over there working against Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith been very impressed with that young man. He's a sophomore, but he has started every game, played big minutes, second leading scorer, and he is just coming in. Coming in, he, he can do it all. Great post player. Shoots 33% from the three-point line. Kid can play. Brooklyn with the ball. Good defense by Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson on York. He kicks it over to number 10, excuse me, 15, Harrell. Harrell on the far wing. It's a battle for the ball. Loose ball. Magnum B.A. has it. Magnum B.A. calls a timeout. So it's going to be a turnover. Brandon Anderson with a steal, and he astutely called a timeout. We'll take that timeout with him. I'll tell you, it'll be a 30-second timeout. Excuse me, 60-second timeout. Uh, we'll take a 30-second break, though. 30-second break. Your score, Brooklyn 23, Nettleton 18. Back with more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network after this message. This message. See Placid Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Placid Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Placid Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Placid Tire Service. We welcome you back to Raider Basketball on NTV. Glad to have you with us here on a Tuesday night. Brooklyn 23, Nettleton 18, 450 remaining in the second quarter. That's DeVars Whitaker with the ball on the far wing. Now then he's driving. He kicks it over to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith from three, and he drains it. That young man has a nice shot. Seven points on the game from Taylor, and it Cuts the Bearcat lead to two. 23 for the Bearcats, 21 for the Raiders. 4.30 remaining in the first half. They get it inside to York. York shoots and scores. Good job down there by David York as the Raiders surrounded him, but he worked his way out and got a little bit of clearance, made a little turnaround jump shot. Good play by York. 25-21 the score. Smith misses the layup. Brooklyn gets the rebound. Bearcats with a four-point lead with just over four minutes to play in the second quarter. Baseline drive. They kick it over. Now then a three-point attempt for Brooklyn is good. That's number five, David York, with a three-pointer. That young man has filled up the stat sheet tonight. He's got nine points in this quarter. Makes the score 28-21. to Brooklyn with a seven-point lead. DeVaris Whitaker to Brendan Anderson. They get it into Andre Davis. Spin move by Davis, and he puts it in. Nice play by Andre. Six points on the game for Andre Davis. 28-23, Brooklyn with a five-point lead with 3.33 on the clock. Brooklyn working it around the perimeter. Get it to number 33. That's Parham. Parham to York. 
Long range three from Brooklyn is no good. Rebound goes the Raiders' way, and here comes Devaris Whitaker. Devaris Whitaker lays it in. Ten points on the night for Whitaker. Three-point game with three minutes to play in the second quarter. Brooklyn 28, Nettleton 25. These teams have been back and forth all night long. Roberson with the ball. He drives, tries to get it inside to Woodall, and it's off Woodall and out of bounds. That's going to be a turnover. It's going to be a Raider ball. So it's a one-possession game. Nettleton down by three, 2.45 to play in the second quarter. Taylor Smith inbounds to DeVaris Whitaker, and DeVaris Whitaker gets it across the half-court line. DeVaris Whitaker drives, and he pulls up and shoots and drains a mid-range jumper. 12 points, 10 points correction on the night for DeVaris. Makes it 28-27. It's a one-point game. Brooklyn with a one-point lead. Bearcats with the ball. They get it to Parham, and Parham working right side. Now Parham's going to drive. He kicks it over on the, far, on the right wing. 2.05 on the clock. They get it to Harrell. Harrell working around the top of the arc. Three-point attempt by the Bearcats is no good. Andre Davis with the rebound, and here come the Raiders. That's DeVaris Whitaker with the ball. On the far side, he gets it to the captain, Magnum B.A. Back to DeVaris Whitaker. DeVaris Whitaker to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith from three, and it's good. Taylor Smith, his second three-pointer in the quarter, gives Nettleton a two-point lead. It's 30-28 to 28 with a minute and 35 on the clock. And the clock is ticking. Raiders up by two against this talented Bearcat squad. Harrell working around the horn and now back to Parham. Parham with a two-point basket. And that makes it a tie ball game, 30-30, with just over a minute to play here in the second quarter. They get it to Andre Davis. Andre Davis drives the baseline, misses the layup. The battle for the rebound goes to Brooklyn. That's Allred with the rebound. He kicks it to Parham, and a three-point attempt by Harrell is no good. The rebound, Taylor Smith, 45 seconds on the clock. We're all tied up at 30 here in the second quarter. DeVaris Whitaker from three, it's good. DeVaris Whitaker drains a three-pointer, gives Nettleton a 33-30 to 30 lead, 15 points on the game by the Raiders senior, DeVaris Whitaker. Got to have a nickname for that kid, D-Money, D-Magic. I'll come up with something, but he is a special player for sure. I'm glad he's wearing the black and gold. 17 seconds on the clock. Brooklyn looking to play for the last shot. That's number three, Aiden Roberson with the ball, working against Taylor Smith. The clock is now at six. It's at five, four. Roberson drives. Isolation layup, and it's good. So... After the Roberson layup, the buzzer sounds, and your score at half is Nettleton 33, Brooklyn 32. Let's take a four-minute break. When we come back, we will have the St. Bernard's Halftime Show for you. Great ball game here tonight at Nettleton. Don't you go anywhere, folks. St. Bernard's Halftime Show. When we come back, you're tuned in to Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Word. Trust your heart to better care at NEA Baptist. Better access means communication with your award-winning cardiac team anytime, anywhere with the MyChart app. Better technology means leading this state with new treatments and interventions right here in Jonesboro. Better is an integrated team of experts at your service when seconds matter. Your heart deserves better. Find it at NEA Baptist. This is Keith Baird with the Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our communities together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal, get a Baird deal. Because why pay more? Saving service, great selection too. If you're looking for some land you'd like to populate, call real estate, real estate, real estate dates. Listen, we all know the real estate market is crazy right now, so whether you're buying or selling, you deserve maximum value. 
You want real market knowledge. You want real negotiating power. You want real results. You need Real Estate Nate. Give me a call. I got you back. Call Real Estate, Real Estate, Real Estate Nate. Call today. Real Estate Nate with Halsey Thrasher Harpo Real Estate Group. 870-261-3927. For me, rice farming isn't a profession. It's been my life for more than 30 years. And as owner of Dela Plains Seed, I've been the region's rice tech leader for more than a decade. Every planting season, I'm in the fields right along with you, and we're figuring out how to make sure bushels mean dollars together. From selecting your hybrid rice to free on-farm delivery and one-on-one consultation, I'd like to help your rice field see more profit this season. I'm Terry Gray at Dela Plains Seed. Call me today at 870-249-3447. Let's talk about your best rice options. On the Front Row with Bed Row is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Paragold and Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Maybe your instincts tell you not to trust everything you hear in the media. We get it. It's only human to question things. So if you're still questioning whether or not you should get vaccinated, ask the people you know right here in Arkansas who you really trust, like your doctor, people you've seen with your own eyes, the real threat of COVID, and the remarkable effectiveness of America's vaccines. That's why St. Bernard's Healthcare is asking you to take a stand with us and sit for a shot. Learn more at sitforashot.org. Ship anything, anywhere at your number one shipping source, PacMail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to PacMail, and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, PacMail has been your number one shipping source, the only authorized shipper of all the major carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and freight services, all in one store. At PacMail, you have choices. Here's PacMail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations. And our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS terminal, and then get that international shipment to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. Pac Mail. See, I told you, Pac Mail ships anything, anywhere, through any shipper. Pac Mail. Voted the number one printing packaging and shipping store in Jonesboro. Don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody. Trust Pac Mail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere, today at Pac Mail. And we welcome you to the St. Bernard's Halftime Show here at Nettleton High School, brought to you by St. Bernard's at the Heart of Great Medicine for more than 120 years. Outstanding basketball game here tonight. We're at the half. Nettleton leads Brooklyn 33-32. to It has been a seesaw back-and-forth affair. A lot of lead changes, a lot of momentum shifts. Been a fun high school basketball game to watch. Nettleton, uh, actually Brooklyn came out and, uh, to use a popular metaphor for these type of things, they punch Nettleton right in the mouth. Thankfully, that was not literal. There would have been some children tossed from the gym if they would have really struck one of our players in the mouth. But from a, a metaphorical sense, they punched us in the mouth. They came in and played hard, took a 19-14 to 14 lead at the end of the first quarter. The second quarter belonged to the Raiders, though, as they outscored Brooklyn 19-13. to 13. That makes the score 33-32 to 32 here at the half. Nettleton is led by their incredible senior, DeVaris Whitaker. As we said, I got to come up with a nickname for that young man. He's come in averaging over 27 points a game for the Raiders. Tonight, he's got 15 in the first half, so he is on pace to eclipse his average, which is very impressive. Uh, DeVaris with 15 first half points, 11 of which came in the second quarter. He really turned it on in the second frame. Uh, Also for Nettleton, Taylor Smith, the very talented sophomore. And I'm telling you, if you have not been to Raider Gym to watch this kid play, you need to get here. And thankfully, we'll get to see him this year and two more years after it. I've been very impressed by Taylor. He can shoot from the outside. He can take it to the rack. He can slam dunk it. Uh, he He can do it all. Heck of a player, Taylor Smith. He's got 10 points for Nettleton. Also for the Raiders, Andre Davis with six points, four of which came in the first quarter. And Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson has scored a couple. For Brooklyn, they are paced by David York. David has 13 points for the Bearcats. 
Aiden Robertson has eight for Brooklyn. Tyler Parham has scored four. Mason Woodall, two. Matt Harrell, three, a big three-pointer in the first quarter for Matt Harrell. So you're, and also for, for Nettleton, excuse me, for Brooklyn, Ben Jackson has two points. So that is the scoring here at half. It's Nettleton 33, Brooklyn 32. We will take a three-minute break. Second half when we come back, St. Bernard's Halftime Show brought to you by St. Bernard's at the Heart of Great Medicine for 120 years. I'll tell you what, let's take a two-and-a-half-minute break, two-and-a-half-minute break, and then we'll have the second half for you when we come back. So two-and-a-half-minute break, and then the second half, you've tuned in to Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. You're listening to the Nettleton Raiders on 94.1. K-I-Y-S H-D-2, Walnut Ridge, Jonesboro. Attention, members and guests. Get lost at Lost Pizza. See why people continue to flock to Northeast Arkansas's coolest and funkiest place to eat. Try one of Lost Pizza's 10 signature pizzas or create your own. Plus, salads, subs, and pastas. And, of course, those famous Delta hot tamales. Lost Pizza offers curbside pickup, dine-in, or delivery. And they also do catering. Lost Pizza with two locations in Jonesboro, 906 Southwest Drive and on Hilltop at 3410. East Johnson. Order at lostpizza.com or download and order through the Lost Pizza app. Hey, it's Brad Bobo, and as the sideline reporter for Red Wolves football, I've had the chance to see firsthand the great work done by the physicians at Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. JOSM doctors have served the athletes at A-State for more than 40 years. Plus, on any Friday night, you can see their physicians on the sidelines at high school games around the area. Whether you're just starting your athletic career or if you're you know well past your playing days, JOSM can get you back in the game. To schedule an appointment, call 870-932-18 20 Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, excelling in their field so you can excel on yours. Demo Smokehouse Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demo's Barbecue. No kidding, they come from Memphis, so no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demo's. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demo's smokehouse barbecue my mouth is watering get huge savings now at every Cavanaugh dealership Cavanaugh has a great selection of late model low mileage certified pre-owned cars trucks and SUVs and most are still under factory warranty we have every every model so you're sure to find the vehicle you want and when you buy it Cavanaugh every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance plus we buy cars Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to KavanaughCars.com. Your specialty print and ship store is the Safe Ship Store in Jonesboro. Owner David Leonard wants to help you with all your shipping and printing needs, and they'll always give you the best customer service and highest quality product for the absolute lowest prices in town. So, when you need something packed and shipped, or when you need printed products, call the Safe Ship Store. Come in today to see all they have to offer. For the best customer service, quality, and prices, visit the Safe Ship Store. 2500 Alexander Drive, Suite C in Jonesboro. 870-333-5068. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Bob FM, 94.1, 80s, 90s, whatever. And Nettleton Television, the heart of Nettleton High School, where Raider Pride is justified. We are just about to start the second half. Nettleton with a one-point lead after a back-and-forth seesaw first half. Man, that was a good half of action for sure wonderful crowd here brooklyn has traveled very well a lot of raider nation here as well got a uh, great high school atmosphere and we are underway second half of action devaris whitaker with the ball for the raiders he drives and he shoots and he scores devaris whitaker with 17 points on the night gives nettleton a 35 to 32 lead nettleton with a full court press now see if brooklyn's Going to be able to, to beat it. They're working on getting across the timeline. Still have not done so yet. Now they beat the press, and they go into their half-court offense. Parham trying to get the ball inside. Taylor Smith denies it, but it goes out of bounds off of Smith, and it's going to be Brooklyn ball. They're going to inbound on their own baseline. They kick it out to Woodall. And there's a foul charged against Brooklyn. It's going to be charged against Woodall. That is Woodall's first personal, first team foul this half. 
And so it'll be Raider ball. They got a three-point lead here in the third quarter, 35 to 32, your score. DeVaris Whitaker drives and misses the three-foot shot. Brooklyn with the rebound, Brooklyn with the ball. Bearcats, Tyler Parham with the ball. Parham from three and he drains it. Three-point basket for Parham at seven points on the night for Parham and it gives, it makes it a tie ball game. It's 35 to 35. Nettleton with the ball, Jeremiah Turner drives. Jeremiah Turner shoots off the front of the rim. Rebound goes to Nettleton, however. DeVaris Whitaker with a hustling rebound. Gets it inside to Andre Davis, and Andre Davis puts it in the hole. Good assist by DeVaris Whitaker. Andre Davis finishes at the rack. Nettleton with a 37 to 35 lead. Brooklyn beats the full court press. They get it on the near wing to number four, York. He misses the three-pointer. Brandon Anderson with the rebound, and here come the Raiders. Get it to Taylor Smith, and he tries to kick it out on the far wing, and it's intercepted. Harrell with the interception. Turnover by Brooklyn. Three-point attempt is no good. Boy, that was a long-range attempt by Parham. Jeremiah Turner with the rebound, and here come the Raiders. They get it to DeVaris Whitaker. He loses the handle on it, and it's out of bounds as DeVaris was, looked like he was getting his feet set, getting his feet right to drive to the hole. Might have been a thunderous slam dunk. As it is, he lost the handle on the basketball and it went out of bounds, so it's gonna be Brooklyn ball. Nettleton 37, Brooklyn 35, six minutes to play here in the third quarter. Brooklyn inbounds, Nettleton continuing the full court pressure. 2-2-1 two, two, full court press. Brooklyn doing a good job so far of, of beating the press. They get it across the timeline and run their half-court offense. Three-point attempt by Harrell is no good. Woodall with a rebound underneath. Woodall sticks it back in. Good hustling play down there by Mason Woodall. Nettleton quickly right back at it. Taylor Smith misses a layup out of bounds. Who's it off of? It's off of Nettleton, so it'll be Brooklyn ball. We're all tied up at 37 after the Woodall basket. So it's 37 to 37, 530 to play in the third quarter. A lot of momentum shifts in this game, a lot of lead changes, good high school basketball action for you here at Nettleton as the Bearcats and the Raiders putting on a show. Harrell thought about taking a three, kicks it back out to the top of the key. Parham, excuse me, Parham with the ball. Back to Harrell, he's on the Nettleton oval end, dribbles to his left. DeVaris Whitaker in his grill. They get it inside and that's gonna be an easy basket for Roberson. 10 points on the night for Roberson and it ties, it gives Brooklyn a two point lead. It's 39 to 37, Brooklyn with the lead, 450 to play here in the third quarter. Magnum B.A. to DeVaris Whitaker. DeVaris Whitaker drives, kicks it back out to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith from the free throw line, it's good. Two point basket by Taylor Smith. 12 points for the talented sophomore. Ties things up at 39 with 439 to play in the third quarter. Brooklyn working on this full court press. They get it across the half court line. Loose ball, Brooklyn controls it. Roberson come up with it. Kicks it to Parham over on the far wing. Back up top for the Bearcats. Brandon Anderson working against Roberson. Roberson with the ball for Brooklyn, getting some instructions from coach Bobby Gross, ASU Indian legend, very good high school basketball coach, athletic director for Brooklyn. He's out on the floor giving instructions. Referees letting him do it. Brooklyn working it around the perimeter and play is whistled dead. I guess it's gonna be a foul charge against the Raiders underneath. That's Jeremiah Turner whistled for the foul. That's his third personal, and that's Nettleton's first team foul this half. Been a pretty clean half as both teams only have one foul here in the, the second half of play. Brooklyn inbounds the ball and get it back to the top of the key. Three-point attempt from the far wing is good. That's Harrell with a three-pointer, his second of the night, gives Brooklyn a 42 to 39 lead. Raiders with the ball, Curtis Smith into the game. Curtis Smith, a little too strong off the glass on a layup attempt. Andre Davis gets the rebound and the play is whistled dead. I believe Andre's gonna be going to the line shooting two. 
I believe, as Mason Woodall. Yeah, Woodall whistled for the foul, his second personal. Andre Davis at the line. He was in the process of shooting when he got fouled, so he's getting two shots. The first free throw is good, and that cuts the Bearcat lead to two. It's 42-40, to 40, Brooklyn with a two-point lead. Second free throw is up and rims out. However, Smith gets the rebound and sticks it back in. Taylor Smith with the offensive rebound, sticks it back in, and we're all tied up at 42 with 3.15 to play in the third quarter. Brooklyn with the ball, Parham to number five, that's York. Back to number 45, they get it into York inside and he is fouled by DeVaris Whitaker. DeVaris Whitaker picks up just his first personal, second team foul. Brooklyn, it was on the, on the floor, so Brooklyn will inbound their own baseline. They get it to Parham, three point attempt is no good, in and out, battle for the rebound, loose ball, and it goes out of bounds and it's off of Nettleton as DeVaris Whitaker made a diving attempt to save it. And it, he did get the ball, but he, whenever he made contact with it, he was laying on the black paint, which signifies out of bounds. We're all tied up at 42, three minutes to play in the third quarter. Brooklyn inbounds. We got ourselves a heck of a high school basketball game here tonight. It's Nettleton and Brooklyn trading punches here on at Raider Gym. Parham three-point attempt, and it drains it. Nice shot by Parham. His second three-pointer of the frame of the third quarter gives Brooklyn a three-point lead, 45 to 42, 235. DeVaris Whitaker kicks it to Braylon King. Braylon King to Curtis Smith. A couple of Raider football players out there on the floor. DeVaris Whitaker from three. No good. Brooklyn gets the rebound. And it's going to be a jump ball as Braylon King was there to tie up the Bearcat player, number 33, Parham. Jump ball, the possession arrow is going Brooklyn's way. Well, the Brooklyn crowd definitely did not like that call. But it's like Mama said, it be that way sometime. Brooklyn 45, Nettleton 42, 2.20 to play here in the third quarter. Parham. To York on the far side. They get it back to Woodall. Woodall to number three, Roberson. Brooklyn working the ball around on the far wing. They get it inside to Woodall who drives and shoots and scores. Woodall's a very good post player. Comes in averaging five points a game. He's got about double that right now. He's got six points. That's not double, but... Magnum B.A. drives and misses the layup. However, I believe he's going to be fouled, so Brendan Anderson will be going to the line shooting two. Third team foul against Brooklyn. Brendan Anderson at the line. Misses the first free throw. Jordan Pegram into the game for Andre Davis. Second free throw by Brandon Anderson is up, and it is good. And that makes the score Brooklyn 47, Nettleton 43. 143 to play in the third quarter. Brooklyn led at the end of the first quarter. Nettleton led at the end of the second quarter. Brooklyn with a four-point lead right now with 130 to play in the third. They get it inside. Nice play by Brooklyn. They get it inside to number five, David York, and he gives – Brooklyn a 49 to 43 lead. Brandon Anderson drives, shoots, misses the layup. Jordan Pegram battling for the rebound. It goes out of bounds off of Brooklyn, off of Woodall. So Nettleton will inbound under their own goal. Andre Davis comes in and the super sophomore Taylor Smith getting a breather. 120 to play in the third quarter. Brooklyn 49, Nettleton 43. Brandon Anderson to inbound. Anderson gets it to Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram drives, picks up his dribble, shoots, and scores, Jordan Pegram, the All-State, I guarantee you he should be All-State, defensive lineman for the Raiders. Showing a little bit of skill on the basketball court as well. Cuts the, the Bearcat lead to four, 49 to 45 with right at a minute to play here in the third quarter. Brooklyn working the ball around the three-point arc. Long range three by number five is no good. Rebound goes to the Bearcats underneath. That's Robertson, and he is fouled on the floor, I believe. Actually, no foul. It's going to be a jump ball. Jump ball called, and 
it is the possession arrow is pointing toward Nettleton's way. So Nettleton will have the ball. Brooklyn a four point lead, 49 seconds. A lot of subs coming in. One of which is DeVaris Whitaker. He's not a sub, he's a starter, but he's taking a breather. And he is inbounding the ball to Brandon Anderson. 46 seconds on the clock and ticking. Brandon gets it across the half court line. Raiders down by four. Anderson from three, he sinks it. Three point basket, Brandon Anderson makes the score 49 to 48. The Bearcat lead cut to one with 30 seconds on the clock. Brooklyn gets it across the half court line. Driving toward the rack, they pull up before they get to the three point line, does Roberson. All red over on the far wing, they kick it to number four, Kirby. Kirby with 12 seconds on the clock. A lot of coaching going on, on down there by Bubba Deaton and Bobby Gross. Kirby drives and he is rejected. However, I believe they might've got a little bit of skin along with the leather. Foul charge against Andre Davis. That's his second personal, third team foul. And that will put Cole Kirby at the line. First free throw is good. Gets a shooter's roll as it hit both sides of the rim, went about two foot up in the air and came down through the net. Makes the score 50 to 48. Kirby's next free throw is a lot less dramatic. Same result, it's good. 51 to 48 now the score. Here comes Brandon Anderson and the Raiders. They get it into Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram misses the reverse layup as the buzzer sounds. At the end of the third quarter, you score Brooklyn 51, Nettleton 48. Fourth quarter and we come back. You're tuned in to Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Across the state of Arkansas, Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville join you in cheering on our favorite teams. We applaud that extra effort that makes our schools and activities an important part of our communities more now than ever. Working as a team to make our communities better by helping you reach your goals, that's what happens at Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville, home of me banking, member FDIC. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on EAB, on the EAB Sports Network and NTV. Sure glad to have you joining us on this chilly Tuesday night. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. We still got Thanksgiving to go, and we sure hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. We do thank the good Lord for everything he's done for us. And we're thankful for high school basketball. Been a good game here tonight. Uh, the score is 51 to 48. Brooklyn with a three-point lead heading into the fourth quarter of play. Nettleton is led by DeVaris Whitaker with 17 points. Brooklyn, I got to say, they put the clamps on him in the third quarter. He only scored two points as he scored 15 first half points. Brooklyn with a three point lead as we get started here in the fourth quarter. Brooklyn with the ball, they inbound. That's Harrell with the ball. Harrell nearly throws the ball away, and it's Curtis Smith. Over there on the defense, it's off a Brooklyn player and it's Nettleton ball. Raider, the uh, Bob, excuse me, Bearcat faithful not agreeing with that. Bobby Gross sure doesn't agree with it, but it's Raider ball. And Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson drives toward the rack. Euro step, he shoots and misses, but he'll be going to the line shooting too. Actually, he won't be going to the line shooting too as Brandon is whistled for an offensive foul. So Brandon Anderson, a fancy, one of those, what they call a Euro step. It always looks to me like they walk, but they say it's legal. However, he guilty of charging. So Bear, the Bearcats with the ball, win a three point lead. Three point attempt is no good by Jackson. Brandon Anderson with the rebound and here come the Raiders. 7.15 on the clock. Bearcats up by three. DeVaris Whitaker. Working against a double team, pulls back. Now he gets another start at it, shoots and misses, gets his own rebound, puts it in, well, he misses again, gets his own rebound, sticks, tries to stick it back, and this time he is fouled. So DeVaris Whitaker will be going to the line, shooting two. That foul was charged against Parham. First Free throw is no good by DeVaris. 
That's the third personal foul for Parham. Brooklyn has four fouls this half. Have, the Brooklyn has committed four fouls this half. Mass substitutions for the Bearcats as Bobby Gross sends in four players. DeVaris Whitaker at the line for Nettleton. Second free throw is good. 18 points on the night for DeVaris. Makes it a two-point game. It's 51 to 49, Brooklyn with a two-point lead. Mason Woodall with the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Now then they're driving. Number four, Kirby drives. He misses the layup. Battle for the rebound goes to Nettleton. DeVaris Whitaker, DeVaris weaving through traffic, taking it to the hole, shoots, and he scores. DeVaris Whitaker gets a friendly roll. That's 20 points on the night for Whitaker and Bobby Gross wants to take a timeout. We're all tied up at 51 at Nettleton with 628 to play in the game. Brooklyn takes a full timeout. We'll take a 60 second break. More Raider basketball when we come back on the EEB Sports Network. Sports Network. If you've injured your neck or back, or if you've been in a car accident, you should call the doctors at the Vets Clinic. They've been helping the residents of Jonesboro and Northeast Arkansas for over 20 years now. Many people don't know what to do or where to go after a wreck. Go to the Vets Clinic. You can call them now at 931 3722 or find them on the web at thebetsclinic.com. If you have a bulging or herniated disc, let the doctor at the Vets Clinic help you like they've helped so many others. Call 931-3722 or go to thebetsclinic.com. On the Front Row with Bedrow is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Paragold and Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network and Nettleton Television on YouTube. Sure glad to have you along for the ride. 6.28 to play in this game. We're all tied up at 51. 51-51. Willie McGee would be proud. Brooklyn, they get it across the half-court line. It's Brendan Anderson applying some a little bit of full court pressure on Roberson. Roberson driving left side now. And gets it over to Kirby. Kirby throws it inside to York. And he sinks a two-point basket, makes a layup, makes the score 53 to 51. Brooklyn with the lead, less than six minutes to play. Devaris Whitaker driving, shoots. Misses, Brooklyn gets the rebound. Woodall with the rebound, Mason Woodall. Young man's a good post player. Grabs the rebound, comes down strong with it. Kirby with the ball, running off, working off of a pick to Woodall. Three point attempt is no good by Brooklyn. Parham with a no good attempt. The rebound goes to the Raiders and here comes Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson. Euro step, miss layup. And I believe Brendan Anderson will be going to the line shooting two. Brooklyn charge to David York, but the foul charge to David York. Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson will be going to the line shooting two. Makes them both. We got ourselves a tie ball game as Brooklyn is up by two, 53 to 51. Magnum B.A. sinks the first at seven points on the night for Brendan Anderson, the team captain, the leader of the Raider pack. Second free throw by Magnum B.A. is no good. Brooklyn with the rebound and a one point lead with 5.20 on the clock. Brandon Anderson working against Roberson. Roberson dribbling to his left, pulls back, kicks it over to Parham. Parham to York. York from three and he drains it. Three point basket by York makes the score 56 to 52. DeVaris Whitaker from three. In and out, no good. Brooklyn with the rebound. Nettleton with a four point, excuse me, Brooklyn with a four point lead. It's Brooklyn 56, Nettleton 52, 445 on the clock. Parham gets it across the timeline, working against Curtez Smith. They get it inside to York and he puts it in off the glass. 
extends the lead to six for Brooklyn. Brooklyn 58, Nettleton 52. We're going to have to stop the bleeding here. Raiders drive, they shoot, they score. That's Andre Davis who puts the ball in. We needed that one. Stop the momentum maybe. And Nettleton takes a timeout. We'll take, it's a full timeout. We'll take a 60-second break with them. 424 to play in the game. Bearcats 58, Nettleton 54. Coming back soon with more basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Sports Network. Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro is by far the largest appliance showroom in Northeast Arkansas, which means more selections than ever before. Right now, a new shipment of name brand in the box inventory has just arrived at Tucker's. Come check it out. Tucker's also offers full factory warranties, free local delivery, and financing at 0% interest. Shop Tucker's Appliance Superstore now at 923 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. Tucker's Appliance. What a horrible call. What's the matter with you, ref? You seriously need some glasses. Honey, that's the mascot. <laughs> oh, I guess I need glasses too. Elite Eye Care can help fans and officials alike. 1000 Windover Road in Jonesboro and 1515 West Kings Highway in Paragould. Schedule today at EliteEyeCareAndOptical.com or call 972-6040. That's 972-6040. Elite Eye Care, your vision is our focus. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. 424 remaining on the clock. Brooklyn with a 58-54 lead here in this excellent high school basketball game. Parham for the Bearcats. Walking the ball across the half court line. Taylor Smith back into the game for the Raiders. Brooklyn with the ball near the half court line. They, they get it inside in a hurry, however, and two point basket underneath is good. That's number five, York, and he's gonna be going to the line for an extra, for a free throw as he was fouled. Fouls against Magnum B.A. Brendan Anderson. That's Brendan's fourth. First, the uh, and one is no good. Nettleton gets the rebound. The Brooklyn leads at six. It's Brooklyn 60, Nettleton 54. Less than four minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. DeVaris Whitaker drives and misses the layup. However, he's gonna be going to the line shooting two. Raiders down by six, 3.53 to play. Fouls charged against number three, Aiden Roberson, just his first personal. First free throw by Whitaker is good. That's 20 points on the, excuse me, should be 21 points on the night for Whitaker. Six fouls against Brooklyn, five fouls against the Raiders in this half. Second free throw is no good. Woodall with a rebound for the Bearcats. 60 for the Bearcats, 55 for the Raiders. Five-point Bearcat lead with 3.43 on the clock. They get it to Roberson. Roberson with Andre Davis on defense. He drives. Davis picks his pocket, and here come the Raiders. Brendan Anderson loses a handle on it, and Bearcats get the ball back. A couple of turnovers. Here comes Brooklyn, and that's... A lot of uh, contact right there, and let's see what the referees call it. Nettleton wanted a walk, Brooklyn wanted a foul. Maybe they both had a case, but as it is, there's a timeout on the court, and it is a 30-second timeout. I tell you what we'll do, we'll just keep it right here during this 30-second break, as there's a lot of unhappy people in the gym right now. Hopefully we'll get them calmed down. We'll do that by saying that that last drive by the Raiders was the drive of the night by Kavanaugh Auto Group. Kavanaugh Auto Group, to see their complete inventory from the comfort of your own home, log on to KavanaughCars.com. We appreciate the Kavanaugh Auto Group bringing you the drive of the night. What a ball game here at Raider Gym. 319 to play, Brooklyn 60. Nettleton 55, Coach Bobby Gross wiping his face with his towel, unhappy with the last call. Brooklyn with the ball. They inbound on the near sideline. Curtis Smith providing the defense, and Magnum B.A. goes up, tries to steal the inbound pass, and that's he's going to be whistled for a foul, and that's five fouls for Magnum B.A. So Brendan Anderson, our team captain, 
will be disqualified. He will foul out. And that is 16 fouls against the Raiders this half. So, Brendan. Topping pizza, oven-baked sandwich, pasta in a tin, domino stuffed cheesy bread, an oven-baked sandwich, salad, bread twist, marble brownies, and so much more. Switch it up for lunch or dinner for your whole gang. The Mix and Match Special. Get any two for only $5.99 each at your Jonesboro area Domino's Pizzas. Maybe your instincts tell you not to trust everything you hear in the media. We get it. It's only human to question things. So if you're still questioning whether or not you should get vaccinated, ask the people you know. Here come the Raiders. 2.52 on the clock. Raiders trail by one. DeVars Whitaker with the ball. Kicks it back out to Curtis Smith. Curtis Smith with a baseline drive. Picks up his dribble. Kicks it back out to DeVars Whitaker. DeVars Whitaker on the oval end at the top of the key now. Looking for a crease in this Bearcat defense. 2.30 on the clock. Now DeVaris drives, gets it inside to Andre Davis. Andre turns, misses a two-footer. Brooklyn with the rebound. Mason Woodall controls it. 2.22 on the clock. Nettleton with some full-court pressure. Brooklyn up by Harrell working against the talented sophomore, Taylor Smith. Deaton calls timeouts. And the clock strikes zero. Brooklyn will win this one 62-61. 62 to 61, your final score. Nettleton with a one point victory over the Raiders. Great basketball action tonight, incredible atmosphere. Obviously, as a Nettleton Raider fan, not the ending that I wanted, but hats off to all these young men who just put on a heck of a show here on Thanksgiving break for all the good people at Nettleton and Brooklyn. Tell you what we'll do, we'll take a four minute break, and when we come back, we will have the uh, post game show the Real Estate Nate postgame show brought to you by Nate Lipsky. That's Real Estate Nate, 261-3927. Postgame show coming up when we come back. Raider basketball on the NTV Sports Network and EAB. Put your daily up. And Courteous, giving you the customized care you and your family deserve. When facing breathing challenges, the on-staff respiratory therapists at Southern Home Health Care provide support and guidance just for you. And you can sleep better with the help of their CPAP and BiPAP. For me, rice farming isn't a uh, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Marvin Hagley uh, prone to being wrong for sure. I did get the final score right, however, as Brooklyn defeats Nettleton 62 to 61. So we will say good night. We'll say uh, that's all for the Saint for the um, real estate Nate post game show. Again, if you're looking to buy or sell a home, call Nate Lipsky. That's real estate Nate at 261-3927. I want to say a great big thanks to our producer, Ryan James, back at the EAB, uh, at EAB studio. He's doing a great job of keeping us on air and guiding me through. Thank you, Ryan, for your good work. Also, thanks to the NTV crew, very talented NTV crew tonight. 